Germination is the start of growth of a plant from a seed. It's that first stage where the seed sprouts to become a seedling. Let's start by having a close look at the structure of a seed. Inside a seed is a plumule, which will go on to become the first plant shoot, and a radical, which will form the first root. Seeds also have cotyledons, which act as a food store for the new plant until it's able to carry out photosynthesis. And they also have a seed coat, which forms a protective layer. If we look at the cross section of this seed, you can see the plumule, radical, two cotyledons, and a seed coat around the outside. As germination progresses, you can see a root system become established and the first shoot and leaves developing from what was the plumule. A few days later, the shoot has emerged from the cotyledons. You can see here the cotyledons have become leaf-like structures. These are known as seed leaves. They are green and able to carry out photosynthesis until the first true leaves, developed from the plumule, are established. Looking at all three stages side by side, you can see the changes over time. So what do seeds need to germinate? Let's start with some assumptions that people often make. Not all of these are correct, by the way. First, we usually make seeds grow by putting them in soil. So maybe seeds need soil to germinate. If you plant a seed, you water it. So water seems sensible. All plants need sunlight, so perhaps germinating seeds do too. Photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide, so that's a reasonable guess. Plants must respire, so perhaps the seeds need oxygen for respiration. Let's look closer at each of those ideas. First up, soil. Here are some seeds that are placed on wet tissue for a few days, and they're germinating just fine. No soil in sight. No, soil is not needed for germination. Water? Yes, essential for germination. Dormant seeds are dry, but the chemical reactions for growth and development can only take place in solution when molecules are free to move. What about sunlight? Well, remember, seeds can't carry out photosynthesis. Instead, they get their food from cotyledons. What's more, seeds often germinate while buried in soil, where there's complete darkness. So, no, sunlight is generally not needed. There are exceptions to that, but I won't go into them today. Next, carbon dioxide. Well, we know this is required for photosynthesis. But think again about our soon-to-germinate seed. There are no leaves, and there's often no light. So, no photosynthesis. So, no. Carbon dioxide is not required for germination. What about oxygen for respiration? Yes, this one is essential. Growth and development require energy, and this is released via respiration. Remember that this type of respiration requires glucose and oxygen. Glucose is already supplied in the seed from the cotyledons, but oxygen must be supplied from the air if germination is to succeed. There's one more thing, a warm temperature. Remember that pretty much all chemical reactions in living organisms require enzymes. For reactions involving enzymes, it can't be so hot that the enzymes are destroyed, or so cold that the molecules move too slowly. For successful germination, we need a warm temperature that's just right. The main summary of this video is that germination is the start of growth of a plant from a seed. For germination to happen, seeds require water, oxygen, and a warm temperature. <laughs>